One of the most inspiring speeches is I Have a Dream by Martin Luther King Jr. But how many of us really do know why this speech even emerged? Why did it have such a huge impact up until today? My topic is the civil rights movement and I'm going to start by 1865, which was the end of the Civil War. And the Civil War was mainly because Southern states wanted to keep the right to have slaves, but since the Northern states were even more developed, they started to develop industries and they didn't really see the need to have slaves. So in 1870, that's when African Americans have the right to vote. However, white people started to threaten African Americans if they even tried to vote. So afterwards, the Jim Crow law started to appear, which is basically segregation. Basically, it is saying it is legal to discriminate against African Americans. It is legal to treat them wrong and not to treat them as citizens. In 1909, that's when the NAACP, or the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, emerges. And it is until the year later, a year later, 1910, when the Ku Klux Klan also emerges in response to the NAACP. In the 1950s, segregation in school started to become an issue. In the 1960s, in 1963, for example, the Birmingham campaign was a, started off as a peaceful protest, but ended in violence because police dogs and police officers started to use violence and to use force against the African Americans who were doing a peaceful protest. That's when in 1963 John F. Kennedy realizes that there is a social issue in the country and that he has to do something to make it better. However, he is assassinated in 1963 but he did have a civil rights law which passes to Congress, passes by Congress in 1864 with Lyndon B. Johnson. There's also the rise of the Black Panthers Party by the ideology of Malcolm X. Later on, major figures like Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X, Rosa Parks also start to become even more and more known. And now we can thank them because there's so much diversity all over the world, not just in the United States, but all over the world. We do have a lot to keep on going. We have a lot to keep uh, bringing up like acceptance towards diversity but it is thanks to those people and for their fighting and for their protesting that in 2008 we had the first african-american president in the united states and personally i think that we still have a lot to learn but i know that as progress and as more and more people get inspired because of these people the world will be just a better place and there will be more diversity Thank you so much for listening.